yeah, don't you. get along oh, with you. That's fine. That's I, don't, I don't have to be your friend. I don't have to be I your like friend it. to win this show. Oh. This is not RuPaul's best friend, no Ray. Sherlock. Don't sashay away because we've got a list for you. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 shocking RuPaul's Drag Race moments. Oh, y'all wanted a twist, eh? Come on, season six, let's get sick, me! Yeah. Yeah. Yes, bitch, work. For this list, we'll be looking at the moments that made us gasp, cry, and maybe even pee your pants a little from laughing too hard. Uh, Ru, yes. is, uh, is this girl over there a robot? Why does she sound like that? Is somebody pushing a button? Can I'm you actually, talk, Norma? I'm, I'm talking, I'm, I'm talking. Um, I think that's really rude. The reality TV series has been going strong since 2009, and that's not just because RuPaul is quite possibly the fiercest person on television. It's because each season brings a fresh batch of talented and over-the-top drag queens for viewers to obsess over. Your beauty is flawless, but your outfits lacked clarity. And since some of these moments involve eliminations, a spoiler alert is in order. j j, -j gia my pet. Make no mistake, I love you from head to toe. Now, sashay away. Number 10, Sharon Needles and Fifi O'Hara fight. Because you won nothing. Your only one look that you got. Oh, I have one look? Tired ass showgirl. In a house full of aspiring drag queens, of course there's going to be drama. But no one saw this particular fight coming when the notoriously catty Fifi O'Hara decided to take the credit for Sharon Needles' challenge win. I was being realistic. Realistic was, was bull because I picked out a character for you to sit there and do, and you did it great. You obviously won the goddamn challenge. Sharon remained calm and collected, but when Fifi claimed that the other drag queen wasn't even on the same level as her, Sharon got pissed. I'm the future of drag. You look 20 years ago. Oh, girl, please. The only thing better than the fight itself is the reactions of their fellow contestants. And what makes this fight all the more satisfying for Sharon was going on to win that season, with Fifi coming in third place. Sharon Needles! <laughs> yeah! Number 9. Jujubee hyperventilates on stage. You didn't want to do that. Girl. <laughs> Raven and Jujubee go way back since the two made their debut on the show's second season, where they play second and third, respectively. When they returned for All Stars, they both made it to the final four once again, but were forced to lip sync against each other for a spot in the final three. After a show-stopping performance, Jujubee claimed to not be able to breathe, either due to the fear of being eliminated or from separation anxiety. I, I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, RuPaul decided to keep them both and have four contestants going into the finale. Shantae, you both stay. Yes! <laughs> the friends ended up placing second and third again, but at least they did it together. Tyra, Jujubee, Raven. Next week, one of you will be crowned the next drag superstar. Number 8. Angina's HIV Reveal. Angina, you're the winner of this challenge. The beautiful thing about this moment was that it was unplanned. Angina, who appeared on season 1, was so overcome with joy about a challenge win that she gushed about explaining how much the win, and obviously being on the show, meant given her HIV positive status. I just wanted to say, and I've been always so afraid to say it, that I've been living with HIV for the last two years of my life, and this means so much to me. HIV is often still a taboo topic, so it was refreshing for those in the HIV slash AIDS community to see someone on TV embrace their status. You're a survivor, and baby, you are still in the race. Since then, future contestants like Trinity from season 6 have also been brave enough to admit that they too were HIV positive. Angina faced fears head on and motivated others to follow suit. Angina has balls to admit to the world her situation and and that was a that was a very moving moment number seven shangela returns can i get a big hallelujah for miss shangela laquifa watley being the first one to get the boot on any reality show is a total bummer just ask shangela who appeared briefly on the second season until being eliminated week one. Ooh, <laughs> yes this is my new gaga inspired corn sage. So, of course, Shangela was ecstatic when given the opportunity to return and compete again the following season. And probably really excited to get to jump out of a box and surprise the other drag queens. Hallelujah, ladies! Oh 
but judging by the looks on the faces of the rest of the competition, not everyone was as happy about it as Shangela was. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, bitches. <laughs> Everybody's face, gagged. Number six. Monica Beverly Hills comes out as transgender. Also, in your runway as well, I don't know, maybe you're sad today or it's a hard day. You're kind of disconnected. No one could forget when Sonique came out as transgender in season two, especially considering it was the first ever on the show. There's a line between drag and trans transgender. Most transgender girls do not do drag. But Monica's transgender reveal later on in season five was more shocking because while Sonique decided to reveal that she was transitioning during the reunion show, Monica told her fellow contestants and judges during the actual competition. Monica, tell me, what's on your mind? <laughs> it's true what you're saying. There is a lag with my head. I feel I'm not here. After winding up in the bottom two early on in the competition, Monica felt the need to explain her apparent lack of focus leading to this surprising and attention-grabbing revelation. I'm not just a drag queen. I'm a transgendered woman. Number five, the double elimination. In season eight, we saw two queens go home in the same week. But that wasn't the first time RuPaul felt that both members of the bottom two were undeserving of the title. In season five, Honey Mahogany and Vivian Panay battled it out to a Britney Spears hit during which neither of them impressed the judges. In fact, the best part of the lip sync battle was a combination of RuPaul's facial expressions and the other judges' half hearted clapping afterwards. Even though it was clear to everyone that both competitors had lackluster performances, that didn't stop the other drag queens and viewers at home from having their jaws drop to the floor in shock. I'm sending you both home. I'm sorry, my dears. Neither one of you showed me the fire it takes to stay. Number four, Roxy's wig reveal. There's no holding back, there's no tiptoeing around. I have to bring everything. Be warned, because what you're about to witness is without a doubt the fiercest move ever made by a drag queen on the show. It's usually a tragic accident when a performer's wig comes off during a lip sync battle and is almost guaranteed to send them home. But for their performance of Whip My Hair, Roxy decided to wear a wig under another wig, the second of which was promptly shed, shocking and delighting everyone in the room, especially RuPaul. There's no holding back, there's no tiptoeing around, I have to bring everything. Despite the killer performance, Roxy broke down afterwards about a lifetime of feeling unwanted, with RuPaul replying that they were all family, not a dry eye in the room. You know, we as gay people, we get to choose our family. You know, we get to choose the people that we're around. You know what I'm saying? I am your family. We are a family here. Number three, Chanel eliminates herself. I already won. Season one was automatically a season of firsts, since there had never been a TV show quite like RuPaul's Drag Race before. But the most shocking first came during episode six, when contestant Chanel decided to nominate herself for the bottom two, feeling that a lack of praise from RuPaul and the judges was a sign that she wasn't good enough to still be on the show. I'm so glad you asked me this question. I nominate myself because I don't want to be here anymore. Even though everyone reassured Chanel that she was beautiful and loved, Chanel still stood by the nomination, and after a mediocre performance in the lip sync battle, ironically ended up going home. Chanel, even though your time here has come to an end, your contribution to the world of drag is undeniable. Number two, Mimi picks up India during lip sync. <laughs> Reality TV is all about contestants trying to outshine one another. People are going to take risks, but those risks don't always pay off, as evidenced by this next drag queen. From the moment the lip sync battle began, Mimi and First was all over the place. Suffering through a difficult wardrobe change, Mimi resorted to trying to block out the competition, India Farah, and even went so far as to pick India up and literally walk her to the back of the stage. Even though the judges were probably dying of laughter on the inside, they had no choice but to eliminate the hopelessly unprofessional Mimi. I don't agree with the judges since I don't think I should have been in the bottom two. Before we reveal the most shocking moment on the show, here are a few honorable mentions. I'm crying because there's a lot of emotions. Dela, girl, I love you. 
and I expect great things from you because the cream always rises to the top. Now, sachet away. If I wanted a sugar daddy, yes, I probably could go out and get one because I am what? Sickening. You could never have a sugar daddy because you are not that kind of girl. Baby, everything I've had, I've worked for and I've gotten myself. I built myself from the ground up. Oh. Hey, hey. No, 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 hey. no, 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 no. I feel very attacked. Relax, relax. Relax. I'm numb from the waist down, tuck included. I really could die, bitch. I'm giving you realness. She's got a smaller waist than Barbie. Oh, don't sneeze, honey. It's all gonna pop. Amazing. Work. If I pick her up, we're going to an interview, and I see those, I'm like, what? You gotta cover those up. Well, a big trend in Queens these days are those latex boots. Oh, I don't like the way they look. Those aren't breasts. These are breasts. <gasps> oh, girl. These are breasts. You don't have to tell me twice. Number one, Willem gets disqualified. So I tried to throw up off the stage. Even if you've never seen an episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, you probably know who Willem Belly is. Willem was a recurring actor on the show Nip Tuck and has a YouTube channel with over half a million subscribers where he posted the viral parody video of Alicia Keys' Girl on Fire called Boy Is a Bottom. But before that, he was on the fourth season of RuPaul's show, where he famously did two things. One, threw up on stage, and two, was disqualified from the competition for breaking the rules on more than one occasion. Willem, I have to ask you to leave the competition immediately. To make matters more scandalous, Willem allegedly broke the rules on purpose because he thought it would make the show more entertaining. Well played. So in other words, you were receiving conjugal visit from your husband, and unfortunately, that was a violation of the rules. Visiting makes it sound like we were visiting, and there wasn't no talking. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? It's a disco bloodbath. What RuPaul's Drag Race moment made you gasp? Now, y'all, it's very dry. It's almost kind of like your vagina. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to Ms. Mojo. RuPaul is so old that the Hindenburg disaster nearly destroyed her bat mitzvah. <laughs>